Hey, everybody. John Granado from The Bench. Mornings on ESPN 97.5. A.J. Hoffman from The Blitz. Afternoons on ESPN 97.5. Everybody, take a look at this little Dodger fan throwing at a would-be Altuve's head. This is what happens when the Astros come to town. Get used to it, Altuve. Okay, AJ, I really have no problem with this video. When I was managing in Little League, <laughs> if a kid, if, if one of the other kids on the team hits a couple homers, I throw at his head, okay? That's the way I was, okay? That's the way I managed my kids. You got a kid in the Little League right now. If 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 the, an opposing player is, is, is taking him deep, what do you do? You throw at him. Of course. Uh, no, I, I don't know. Listen... There was a couple things wrong with that video. That mannequin was taller than Jose Altuve, for one. Way that, taller. I mean, that would have that would have gone three inches, six inches over Altuve's head. Secondly, I mean, that, that the kid's got some nice velo. I think we have to respect that. But lastly, if you're a real Dodgers fan, why are you wearing red? This is all this is all very awkward right. to me. Uh, right. I I don't blame the kid at all. I mean, obviously the kid is doing what his dad tells him to do, but it, it it's. You know, if it weren't at the expense of the Astros, people would probably think it's funny. I think it's funny. I don't think it's a big deal. And I, I don't think that – I really don't think in Major League Baseball, I, I think this is a fan issue more than it is a player issue, other than a few outliers like uh, Tyler Trevor Bauer. I, I think most guys know – listen, we're, we're playing 2020 season. We can't worry about what happened in 2017. And uh, the other thing about the Astros is, you, you in real life, you can't afford to put extra Astros on the bases. That's not a good move. This is a, still a pretty solid, deep lineup. And you put a guy on for free to, to send a message, well, the next guy might send a message your way. Hold on. Why is it Altuve? Okay, Maybe that's all they had. The only Astros jersey they had in, in L.A. was an Altuve jersey because you're not going to find, uh, certainly won't find uh, a Jordan or even a Springer. They hate, they must, Springer destroyed you. Okay, he was the MVP of that series, L.A., so, but Altuve seems to be the face of this cheating thing when it is proven that he used it the least of any of the guys. Maybe Reddick didn't use it at all, but, but whatever. He used it so little, and yet because he hit that home run off Chapman and the Yankees think he had a buzzer on, he's becoming the face of this. And I think it could, and I'm going to tell you this, it is going to affect him and his Hall of Fame voting. Well, it absolutely will affect it. Altuve is also the the biggest. Well, besides Verlander, he's the biggest star on this team. He's a guy who's who's won an MVP award. He's a guy who is respected across the league as one of the best players in the league. So, fairly or not, he is going to be the face of it. I'm with you. Like, if you're really looking, when you look at the the breakdown. Uh, you know, get mad at Alex Bregman. That's the guy who seemed to be really into the trash can thing. Altuve, a guy who it seemed like didn't use it at all, has become the face. I don't think it's fair. I do agree with you that it's going to affect not only his, I think all of this bunch. People are people are going to hold that against them when the time comes, whether that's fair or not. We see it. We see other things held against other players. I, I think certainly this is going to be held over their heads. Yeah, uh, it's funny. You know they're going to come. Are you looking forward to the Dodgers series? It looks like Kershaw could pitch in Game One, and then whoever they throw their second starter in Game Two, we'll see who that's going to be. They got a few options; they're pretty good. But if they if the if, if the Dodgers come in here and win two games, it'll be like you see you see now they can't cheat anymore. Now we're going to beat them. And then oh by the way, if anybody gets hit, I, I, I I'm telling you there, there's a lot of bad blood here. I can't wait for that second series of the season. I'm certainly looking forward to the Dodger series, the, all, all the Dodger games, because let's face it, there's not much to look forward to with Padres, Rockies, Diamondbacks, no. you know, Giants, Rangers, Mariners. There's not a lot of games to look forward to when you're playing all these West Coast teams, but the Dodgers, those those matchups are certainly going to be intriguing. And, uh, and yeah, I, I do hope we get a Kershaw versus Verlander matchup. Well, the other thing is, even if it's not Kershaw, it'll be Walker Bueller or somebody like that who's, who may be the next Kershaw. The Dodgers have a ton of great pitching. We should get some really good games between those two teams. Absolutely. but And the problem is it'll be, you know, the Astros don't have a day off, so their fifth starter who isn't going to be, doesn't look like it's going to be Josh James now, doesn't look like it's going to be Arkady now. 
It might be from, or I don't know, but they're 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 down to a guy now that they didn't expect to be their fifth starter in that game, and that's going to be see I told you game against Kershaw. Now, hopefully they light him up. It's you know what it'll be it'll be even that much more fun if you throw your f- fifth starter against Kershaw and beat him at Minute Maid Park when you know the Astros you probably think the Ast- you might think the Astros aren't cheating. <laughs>